talk about the code of for professional teachers. The code of ethics is a guide for us teacher to know the correct and acceptable conduct. What should or shouldn't do. Let's start with preamble. The teachers are duly licensed professionals who possess dignity and reputation with high moral values as well as technical and professional competence. In the practice of their noble profession, they strictly adhere to, observe, and practice this set of ethical and moral principles, standard, and values. This photo, we have a teacher and a the student inside the classroom. And to be a professional or licensed professional teacher, you should pass the licensure examination for teacher. The second photo, we have the teacher and the student. Mm, try to observe what does the photo implies. What does the photo implies in terms of their emotions? So, um, the teacher and the students are both happy, no? It's important to be happy as well as your student. So, the teacher practice set of ethical and moral principles, standards, and values. Okay? There are 13 articles in the Code of Ethics. Let me introduce you to you the 13 articles. Article 1, Scope and Limitation. Article 2, the teacher and the state. Article 3, the teacher and the community. Article 4, the teacher, a teacher and the profession. Article 5, the teachers and the profession. Article 6, the teacher and the higher authority in the professions. Article 7, school officials, teacher and other personnel. Article 8, the teachers and le learners. Article 9, the teachers and the parents. We also have Article 10, the teacher and the business. Article 11, the teacher as a person. Article 12, disciplinary action. Lastly is Article 13, effectivity. As a teacher, you have to know and you have to be familiar, familiar with this 13 articles under Code of Ethics. We will now focus on Article 1, Scope and Limitation. Section 1. The Philippine Constitution provides that all educational institutions shall offer quality education for all Filipino citizens, a vision that requires professionally competent teachers committed to Two is full realization. The provisions of this code shall apply, therefore, to all teachers in all schools in the Philippines. Section 2. This code covers all public and private school teachers in all educational institutions at the preschool, primary, elementary, and secondary levels whether academic, vocational, special, technical, art, or non-formal. The term teacher shall include industrial art or vocational teachers and all other persons performing supervisory and or administrative function in all schools at the four said levels, whether on full-time or part-time basis. So, there are only two sections in Article 1. Article 1 is scope and limitation. For more details, see you in our synchronous class. Have a good day and God bless everyone.